A handy trick to learn is how to combine different knot designs together both before and after they've been drawn. In today's video I'll show you how to do just that, coming right up. Hello everyone, I'm Carrie Buziak of Aeon Celtic Art. I'm a published author and a Celtic artist teaching modern techniques and ancient art. I've been teaching this method from my website for the last 25 years, as well as in my book Creating Celtic Knotwork by Dover Publications. Before we get started today, make sure you subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you're kept up to date on new tutorials when they come out. So there are a few different ways that you can connect knotwork designs together. Overall, the technique I find very helpful when I'm working on a large piece, so I can make one small component and then plug it in or connect it with a larger hole, or if I'm making a matching set of something. Then I can make a smaller piece and use it to make a larger, more complex design that will match the style or look of the smaller piece. This week we'll be using the Aeon Dot Paper. I'll include the link below in the comments, so just grab a copy of that from my website, download it, and let's get started. So we'll cover initially how to do this using our grid technique that we've used for our other knot. To begin, I'm going to mark off an area that is 12 big dots wide by 6 big dots high. If you download a copy of this week's worksheet, I have it marked out on there if you need to take a closer look at that. So I'll just zoom in here. Now, the connection in between these two different portions, I'm going to fade out in green just so you can see a little more clearly. Basically, I have a pattern mapped out on the left a pattern mapped out on the right with a small connection in between the two of them. To begin my knot, I'm going to choose one of my small gray dots and place my tipped over tic-tac-toe board. Again, it doesn't matter which one I start with, so I'm going to start with that topmost one on my left hand design. I add the rest of my tipped over tic-tac-toe boards to the little dots that are not crossed off by walls and that are within my design boundary. Next, I add any corners to my design, starting with that upper left corner and then finishing with the other corners within the design. To connect up the remaining knotwork lines, I add my bends or elbows until everything is joined up. And on to the weaving. Starting with that left hand design up at the top, I'm going to erase that one strand so it appears to be going over the strand below it. The arrow shows the direction I'll continue erasing in for my knot. And if that last one was an over, my next one needs to be an under, and then an over, and then continue on until the entire knot has been woven. I'll just fade off the dot paper here so we can see the knot alone. And here we have it, two identical designs that are joined in the center with a little twist. So that's how you can develop a design using our grid technique and make it look like two pieces are connected in the center, basically by blocking off a portion of our grid to leave just one smaller connection point between the two pieces. Next I'll show you how to connect two knot pieces together that were already drawn or finished. So we're taking finished knots and connecting them together after the fact. So here's that knot design again drawn on its own, so unattached to anything. I'm going to duplicate that design on the right and then show you how I can connect them together. If you look down the vertical space between the two knots, you'll see that there's a straight part, a bend or elbow, and then another straight part. To connect both the knots together, I'm going to erase part of that bended part on both sides. So a little from the left hand one, and then a little from the right hand one. Now we've got a connection point that we can make between both designs. Think of it as you're snapping or breaking that knotwork strand. If both designs are close together, you can just redraw the lines in, connecting them at that center point. Or leave them spaced out and join them with a little twist like we did last time. Just freehand draw that little twist in. You can really connect the two designs any way you like, even by freehanding your own shape. So you can connect two designs together at the midpoint, and you can also do it from the corner. So here I'm going to make a smaller version of that design and repeat it in four. I'm going to erase that center portion, and then reconnect those straight lines so it unites all four designs together in the center. I made a copy of the grid pattern design used in the first half of this video for you guys. That's your worksheet for this week. So feel free to download a copy of that and give it a shot on your own. 
So that's how you connect two knots together that have already been drawn or finished. Basically, any of those knot lines around the outside edges are fair game to be broken and then reconnected to the other knot. Now you want to make sure that you're paying attention to your overs and unders with this. The two knots, when you combine them, should have the same over and under pattern. So that introduction of that connecting piece doesn't suddenly flip or reverse what's going on with the finished ones. It's a lot easier to take the knot before it's connected and do a flip if you have to, to get those over and unders correct so they match up seamlessly. To make sure you're not introducing any errors in your weaving. I hope you guys found this helpful this week. I really like this technique for developing really large designs. Again, before you go, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the little bell so you're kept up to date on all future tutorials. These and many other techniques are covered in my book, Creating Celtic Knotwork by Dover Publications. If you'd like to support me or my channel, please consider signing up as a patron on my Patreon page. My patrons receive free high resolution clip art, free downloads, coloring pages, a coupon to my Etsy store, and if you're enjoying all the free content, it's kind of just plain nice of you. Thanks so much, that's all I got for you this week guys. Bye!